seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What's going on, guys? It's me, Rocky X. Coming at you today on some more survival evolved from the Sons of Anarchy with a K server on the Ragnarok map today, back on the vanilla ish series, and um, got some stuff to talk about. What I want to do over here first and foremost, there was a whole new expansion to Ragnarok right over, yeah, on the other side of those mountains. Uh, I know I'm late on that. I kind of got to glance at a little bit and I saw a little bit in Wombat's video. Uh, but I'm I'm gonna go over there and check out some of that new stuff today. Check out the new area, and then also uh, I'm still brainstorming for uh, ascension. So we beat what the gamma ascension not that long ago, uh, and it, I mean you know we beat it with four rexes. I mean we could definitely bring more stuff in there. My thought was no wait three rexes, yeah three rexes. And so my thought was what else can we bring in there that can really help us out in there? And so I'm thinking about. Taming a vulture while we're over there, uh, maybe two of them so we could breed them, and then uh, comparing those against Dimorphodons and Onyx. I know what the base stats are, uh, but just kind of, you know, taming them up, uh, or the base stats for each creature, sorry. Uh, taming each up and just seeing which one I feel like would be the most useful for us. Um, the big thing about the Onyx has been that they can't be bred, but... <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. You guys are usually a whole lot more open to this stuff than I am. Um, but what we could do is the S plus mutator. Now I set one down right here just for this uh, little demonstration. Um, it now allows you to breed creatures that you couldn't previously breed. So now if I go in here and go change mode, there's a couple different modes on it. Number one, you can swap the gender of nearby dinos. So I guess you can pulse and change females into males for six hours. Uh, then they've got a setting that will grant a random gender, gender to nearby genderless dinos. Um, not really sure what that's about because the next feature is grants nearby dinos the ability to breed that normally cannot. So I'm not sure exactly. I'm like, if you have a creature that doesn't have a gender, do you have to assign them a gender and then do this to have them breed? I'm not really sure exactly how that works. But I know that we would be able to breed Onik with this setting. I don't know how I feel about that. Sometimes I'm like a purist when it comes to the game, but you guys sometimes think that stuff is really cool. So let me know what you think. I'm, I'm still planning on comparing the three, but like if we bring uh, Dimorphodons or Vultures or Onyx in there with us to help just kind of um, beat up on the boss while he's going around, because I can't keep up with him, then, uh, you know, it's going to be like we're bringing like 20 in, maybe 20 plus. Something like that. And uh, I'm not going to tame 20 plus high level Onik and then level them up. Uh, it would be much better if we could breed them. So that would let us breed them. Let me know what you think, uh, if we should even be open to that idea or not. All right. So what I'm going to do right now is I think that I've got everything. Basically what I've done, as you guys know, this is all, um, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Uh, clustered with aberration. So I've got my aberration gear and then I've got my gear for over here. And basically I've got gear for over here and gear, gear for on the island. So uh, I've got gear at every every stop, and I just transfer over naked like a newborn. Um, so I've got all the gear on for this. I'm probably going to have to make some desert, desert cloth once I get over there, but I'm going to go ahead and head on over to... Check this out, though. These stairs are real stupid. Like, once you get halfway up, you just get stuck like... Oh, God. Oh, nobody wants to see that. No, not even me. <laughs> it's something about these stairs. Once you get halfway up, you just sink into them like 90% of the time. So half the time we can't even get to our second story. Um, but I'm going to get up there. We'll go ahead and get on a flyer. We'll check out the new area and then we'll tame us up a vulture or two, breed them up and then decide where to go from there. This is so broken. Hour 310 of trying to get up to my, to my Griffin. <laughs> I can't do it because the stairs are so broken. I feel as if I am a newborn giraffe, barely able to use my leg. Oh, I made it. I made it. Good God. I had to document the struggle of going up and down the stairs. Oh, finally, McGriffin. Let's get over to the freaking desert biome before something else happens. So if I remember right, I think that the wall was pretty much like right here. And all of this stuff over this way should be new. Looks like there's a big town over there. 
Uh, that's probably the one that when I watched Wombat's video that he went up to. Yeah, so this looks like the whole new area. It looks like there's a lot of just straight up desert. I don't even know. Maybe I'll find out while I'm here whether or not there is like weather events and stuff. I think there is like the um, storms and the uh, sandstorm, the heat. I don't want to call it heat stroke. The heat event, whatever the crapping is. Got a waterfall over here. This would be kind of a cool place for like a little base right here. If you built right here and you just had the land bridge across. That's pretty cool. Press is, a, you know, it's a pretty view on top of that. I wonder if there's anything behind the waterfall. Let's go chasing waterfalls. TLC would be very disappointed in us. Is there anything behind your waterfall? I knew it. Is there anything at the bottom of your waterfall? I'm going to just, I'm going to get dismounted. Let's just, no. Oh God. I thought it was, that was a really weird animation. I thought it was falling. How about, yeah, okay. Okay, well, there's something back there. I don't guess there's a drop or anything. Didn't look like anything special, but there's a little space back there. This is kind of cool, too. So, archway. I'm really glad that they added this. Dude, that would be a really neat place to build, too. If you just, I mean, if you didn't need a ton of room, you just threw up a couple behemoth gates. What's up, bro? You really want to do this right now? Throw up a couple behemoth gates right here. Woo! Be kind of cool. All right. I was thinking I'd have this thing dead by now. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. In fact, this man, the, the lighting is doing something real weird. I guess there's a storm moving in. In fact, this may be where I end up like, because I want to build like a little uh, desert outpost. This may end up being where I build and maybe I'll do a little bit of that if I have time today. But I might just slap some behemoth gates down right there. Build a little adobe place right here on the edge of the cliff overlooking the valley. And then any dinosaurs I can get, we can build an elevator to up top here. And just fence off this up top area would be kind of cool. Um, I want to head down to that city, but I also don't want to miss anything awesome around here. Kentros. I haven't played Scorched Earth in so long. I imagine these are in Scorched Earth. Are you guys part of Scorched Earth? 145. Dude, I've never... You really want to do this? Oh, God! What's... <laughs> I'm so stupid. Um, uno momento. Okay, please don't kill my griffin. And by... I'm talking to myself. We gonna do? Are we just gonna? <laughs> you gonna run me off the cliff? Can I shoot, please? Sure. Let's get two more. Oh God. Okay. You know what? I have. I legit haven't messed with Kentro since they came out. So <laughs> I remember that they did that, but I didn't remember that they were angry like that. I could. I, I, and I have no clue if they're part of regular Scorched Earth because I haven't played that since. Oh, geez, probably last January. All right. Let's explore a little bit more. I'm really surprised that I'm not overheating over here yet, uh, but I haven't been. I'm guessing. I mean, this is the this is the river valley to that to that city that I saw on on Wombat's video. It's kind of cool. I mean, it just all of this really reminds me of Scorched Earth, and I love like the little rock formations and stuff like that. I've always thought that was really cool. I can see now, like Wombat in a 12 by 12 raft, basically just spinning circles in this spawn just because he wants to live on a boat. This place is kind of cool. What's that, like a little pond? Not pond, but a little well out back here? Yeah, that's pretty neat. I wonder if you can set, why? Probably can't set one of those water things on it. But I wonder if you can drink out of it. Not like it matters. That was a dumb question. Right here by the river. I was kind of hoping, like, I saw how much greener these those plants were right there. I was kind of hoping it was, like, in the highlands where you could go over and actually just uh, pick crops wild. Let's see in here. It's like, oh. This place has got, this place has got potential. You could do some cool stuff here, but the question is, like, do you... No, 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 Pegamass X. I knew I heard him. Do you want to live this close to Wombat? And I'm pretty sure... The answer is no, because where he's, well, I guess we're a little ways if we were to build right there. This bridge is pretty neat too. You could completely finish this thing, repair it or whatever with S plus, I think no problem. And that'd be really pretty neat. You could put gates all the way across it. That'd be pretty swag. That'd be pretty swag. And then Wombat being here doing circles in his boat, be complete. But no, no, he has to claim this entire freaking thing right here to himself 
It's massive, though. I gotta admit, it's really cool looking. Just go through. Yeah, he's already started building foundations and everything. So he got, what's he got? Got a smithy over here. Might have to bum some of his resources. Let us see. Dude, this is cool. I wish you had like a shovel and you could shovel all this dirt and stuff out. That'd make it even better. But I mean, it's not my problem because I'm not going to live here. Let's see. It's like the, I don't even know what you would do with this out here. I guess just leave it. Okay, there's got to be a way to something else, right? Stairs? Oh, this is so cool. I mean, it's way more space than, <laughs> than any of us would need, but it's super awesome. I'm digging this old ruin. That's really neat. You put your bedroom right here. Overlook the world. Be amazing. I pooped. Oh, no. Okay. Well, falling is the thing. What is it? You'd have to build like an elevator to come down here to even use this space, but oh yeah, I can't survive that. Uh, or that. <laughs> How do I get? Okay. I wonder if I, hmm. I wonder if he's got a bed over here. Can I make a, no, I can't make anything because I didn't bring anything with me. I was going to make a sleeping bag just in case I didn't make the water. Oh boy. Which way is going to be? No, I'm Mike. No, I can't survive that. If I go, let's see, I'm going to have to run approximately 12.2 miles. <laughs> 12.2 miles an hour. I'm gonna have to lift off at about 35 degrees. But I'm definitely thinking I could probably do this. Hmm. Oh yeah, we're gonna go for it. Okay, here we go. Okay, I've actually I've finally talked myself into it. I'm don't back off. That would be so stupid. Here we go! Here we go! Here! Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all doubted me. Oh. Okay. Woo! Now the question is, okay, in the water, check, at least I'm safe there. I don't remember if there's a way to get up to my griffin from the front side here. No. No, there is not. <laughs> okay, I thought that was a piranha. The water looks relatively safe. As long as this frog doesn't get mad at me. Maybe there's stairs over here that I forgot about. Align! Piranhas! Uh, uh. No. Okay, so it appears... I'm starving. It appears I'll be continuing this tour on foot. Yeah. <laughs> Dead gummit! Who knows where I'm gonna have to walk around to to get back... Uh, no. To get back to my griffin. <laughs> oh, now I'm overheating. That's convenient. I think I finally found my way back around to be able to get on my griffin and then I'm getting out of here before I let this building kill me. Well, about you can have this place. I can't even find my way around it without trying to kill myself. Uh, yep. Scorpion. Okay. What I need to do now, I'll do another little flyover. I mean, there was nothing that like, I mean, other than these really cool ruins and the fact that this is like scorched earth with actual water, which is super nice. Uh, there was nothing that really jumped out of me and I'm not saying like I did like the most thoroughest flyby you've ever seen but I just kind of flew around the area and uh, it's a really cool addition I'm glad that they have the the map what they say 99% done that's awesome and I'm glad that there's like access to the sea from here and you've got this big river really really cool I think they did a really good job and I'm and I really love the Ragnarok incorp incorporates like all of the different uh, biomes or whatever hello Okay, there's a micro raptor. Oh, I saw this. I saw this in Wombat's video and people were saying this is mine. And if this is mine, I completely 100% don't ever remember doing it. But maybe it is mine. Maybe, hmm. Maybe we got a new micro raptor friend. Come here, buddy. Okay. You could just plummet to the ground too. Cause that would be neat. I'm not coming in to get you. I'm coming in to get, oh, oh God. Can you pick up a micro raptor? I don't know why you wouldn't be able to. There we go. I saved you, buddy. You are now mine, and we are now friends. Unless we were friends before, and now you hate me for abandoning you in the middle of the air, way out in the desert.
Get, get him, Michael Raptor. Get him. Prove your loyalty to me. And I will let you survive. Oh, God. Get him, Michael Raptor. <laughs> He's so stupid chasing this thing down. Get him. Get him. Now, get this one now. Good, Michael Raptor. Get him. <laughs> so dumb. Get him, Michael Raptor. Oh, God. Keep chasing him. Okay, I'm going to help you out just a little bit, Michael Raptor, because I'm tired of getting hit by these things. There you go. Get the one on the ground. Stop chasing the one there, because obviously you can't get that one. How about this one? How about this one? <laughs> get him. Oh, ho, ho. the almighty bug killer. Does he even have a name? Oh, I think you just messed me up real bad, Mike Raptor. Come here. Stop playing around. Uh, You follow me. Unfollow me. Lag out. Oh, jeez. This isn't... This isn't a Microraptor at all. It's an Archaeopteryx. <laughs> okay. I knew that from the start. And you guys knew that too, right? You probably did. I, I imagine there's already 20 comments by now saying you're, you're chasing, chasing an Archaeopteryx. I can fly higher than an eagle. Hopefully I can get back to... Let's see if we can... Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm a fan of the Archaeopteryx. I just didn't ever remember taming a Microraptor because I don't think that I ever have tamed a Microraptor other than the taming and review videos. I got him! <laughs> he is mine! <laughs> I look so proud holding this thing up. Uh, with a wing? Is this the Archaeopteryx that I did that stupid Lion King thing with? It very well may be. Huh. But why would it be way over here? Because I thought that was way over there. I don't know. I may have figured out where the Archaeopteryx came from. All right, I guess it's not complete unless I come out into the complete. Oh, yeah. Into the just regular desert biome. But I haven't seen any weather events. Uh, You know, heat storms, sand storms, lightning storms, nothing like that. Oh, I knew I was going to do that. <laughs> Put my puts bold meat in my last slot, which is normally my freaking. Uh, okay. Can we maybe. I can't use my spot and scope because I'm holding an Archaeopteryx. Is that what's going on? I don't have any free hands. Can you use my spot and scope? My spyglass, please. I don't guess I've ever tried that. Please, can I maybe just go use my... You think maybe I could... All right, well, now I remember why I dropped you into the desert to begin with, Archaeopteryx. Sit. Stay. Get you off me. I'm trying to peek at these buzzards. What level are you guys? 60, 15, 20. None of those are going to cut it. I'll tell you what, I'm going to get real tired of picking this thing up and dropping it just so I can use my freaking spyglass. But while we're out here, we might as well look for high level vultures. There we go. This one will work. 145. Yes, come to me. Uh, Archaeopteryx. I'm going to see if maybe I can't get you killed so I don't have to. Oh, no. Give me your Archaeopteryx. Follow me into battle. <laughs> My battle optrix. Oh no, which one of you guys is the right vulture anymore? Really snakies. I'm dehydrated. Luckily I did. Oh no, chase my kid. Why are you attacking me? Stop. I did nothing to you. Stop it. Ah. <laughs> My Archaeopteryx. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, fine. I'm sorry, Archaeopteryx. I'm just going just far enough away so they'll unaggro me. Which, if I remember right, is like Pluto. I think one finally unaggroed me and one did not. Let's see. Oh, no. Okay, now they're doing something else. Um, Maybe my Archaeopteryx will find me. I don't know. It shouldn't be too, too far away. If it comes back to me, then it's mine. If not, then it never was mine. One of these vultures. I'm so sad that I can freely use my spyglass now. 145. Now we must wait for it to land. No. No. You're not. You're not aggro to me still. You're aggro to me still. What is wrong with you, thanks? Dead gummit. Oh, my Archaeopteryx. It's getting chased by. 
I wouldn't I wouldn't let this kill you Archaeoptics. You are my friend. Also, this vulture is gonna beast me if I can't get out of here Okay, they finally unaggroed me. Yeah, come here little guy You're too cute. You're too cute for me to leave you out here to burn to death in the desert. I can't wear any armor Oh, I'm half health. Oh, that's a thing uh, I wonder if I can tame these in time to not die. I'm like not su- You sit here. I'm not super concerned with being able to make it out of here in time. If everything would leave me alone. Yeah. Oh, dead gum. <laughs> when you have no armor on that 145 bug hits like a freaking tank. Okay, you know what? Dad gum it. Just buy the rib cages in the sand. There's good vultures. I'm gonna have to come back. Dead, almost dead, almost dead, almost dead, almost dead. <laughs> Uh, get in here. Okay. Woo. Cool me off a little bit. There's like this really cool. I got lost. <laughs> it's like this really cool, like little oasis out here, at least, that I can get in the water to cool off. Uh, so maybe I can drown instead of like overheating to death. I was wondering if there's anything cool in here. I mean, there's obsidian in here, looks like. You could gather that. Bunch of bones in the water. Can I stand here and keep my head above water and stay cool at the same time? No, because it wants me to constantly move. Can I? Can I pull it off? Can I pull it off? Can I pull? I don't know. Can't do it. Um, I guess I'm going to swim around a little bit until I can get to Wombat's base. Oh, God. Don't come in here, Titan Boa. And then um, once I get over there, I can make me some desert cloth stuff. Is my Arky? Oh, Jesus. Then once I can make some desert cloth stuff, then I can survive out in this. Then I can get me a high level vault. Okay, we've got full. Well, no, we've got almost full <laughs> Desert cloth on we didn't have the silica and when I say we I totally stole wombat stuff He didn't have the silica pearls to build the uh, headpiece, but that's all right There's tons of vultures around here. I'm hoping that I can find another 150 145 without having to try to go out there I also left the archaeoptrix at wombat space. I uh, super sad to have to do that It's a 135 or something or maybe that was a mantis Yeah, it doesn't matter. Those are dead anyways how about you? 25? Nah. Oh, nice. 150. I thought that's what that said. Okay. Sweet. Is there another high level one over here? I don't think I checked this one. 60. No. All right. So. Let's see if we can do this. Without me eating raw or spoiled meat. That'd be kind of nice. Bum bum ba da bum. Stealthy, and by stealthy I mean run directly up to him, stick one in him, and leave. <laughs> Touchdown! Here we go. Oh no! Don't take off! Don't take off! There we go. One more. Uno mas. Oh no! Manta definitely saw me or it, which means I'm going to have to tank this thing so it doesn't kill my vulture. No. Bat, no. <laughs> no. Uh, no. No, you ruined everything. No. Why are you chasing me now, vulture? We were friends. I fed you the spoiledest of meats. Dang it. Bet we're gonna have to start all over with this bad boy now. All because that man just wanted to mess with things. And now it's in the mix over here. I don't even know which one it is anymore. I think it's that one that landed over. Nope. This one. If that Arthropleura does the same thing, so help me God. It looks like I did have to start over, but at least I got that one there. Okay. Woo. Uh oh. Really? Good lord, bug. Oh god. A vulture has landed. I'm pretty sure that's it. I hope so. Are you it? 150? Yep. Feed you, and then I'll take care of this. Ooh, 
Oh no, I think I, oh no, I ran into it because I was in such a hurry. And that made me, <laughs> stop it, stop it. Okay. <laughs> I think it finally lost aggro again. It's uh that one. Dang it. I was in such a hurry that I ran into it. Maybe I'll have a little better luck. Third time's a charm. That's what I'm banking on. Third time's a charm. Mm, no. Third time's not a charm. Because there's aggro to me again. <laughs> Please stop. Please. Okay. Here we go. Again. Let's try not to bump into it. Oh, it kept its taming. I don't know how, because it's been for freaking ever. It must have a really low taming efficiency. Maybe it's ready to eat again. Oh, God. Just don't aggro my griffin. Or me. Okay. <laughs> That I had to specify. Yes! Yes! 224, okay, it was fine! Plus, how freaking cool does that look? That actually does look really cool. I really love the vultures, but every time I get to trying to tame them, like, it's a huge freaking pain in the butt. Uh, 55. This was a male, I believe, so I need to find me a high-level female. I don't know if I have time to chase one around for 30 minutes again. Uh, on camera anyway, so I'll go ahead and find a high-level female. Tame it up, and probably what we'll do is go ahead and go back to the island. I'm not gonna, definitely not gonna have time to start building on an adobe base over there, but we'll go back to the island because I want to mutate these things and um, see what we can end up with out of some uh, high level vultures. Back on the island, and I think we have everything set up. I was able to find a 150 female vulture, and actually, it wasn't too far from the 150 male. Uh, as I was kind of headed back towards, uh, where Wombat's going to build, lo and behold, there was a 150 female. So I was able to tame her up, and it went way, 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 way smoother than, than taming the male did. So I was extremely excited about that. Um, So both of these guys have really decent melee stats, like 45 to 48 points in the melee, and both of them have higher than average health as well. So this may actually turn out to be a thing. I had to wait out the transmitter timer uh, since I had to move them from Ragnarok over here so that I can breed them, but it looks like everything is probably good to go now. Let me make sure that's activated. That's activated. Okay. These guys should be enabled. No. Behavior enabled wandering. Now they should be enabled to mate. Let's make sure they're doing their thing. They are. And at least it tells you right here, create mutator pulse. So if you were going around and playing around with the settings, you could at least eyeball and know that, you know, if you had it on the gender one or whatever, that, hey, you might be about to pulse the wrong freaking thing. Also, dang it, dang it, dang it to dang it. I just wasted so much element. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. So we moved our servers over to uh, Nitrato. Um, we have Nitrato servers now. And when we did, I thought that I moved all the settings, but it appears that look at this, two of two. So I can't get 10 mutations right now. I'm either going to have to go back in and change that or just deal with two. Um, so yeah, what was that? An, an extra 80 element. Goodbye. Dad gum it. Alright, surely it's not going to take too long for this thing to drop an egg. And then the uh, hatchery will snatch it up, incubate it to 1%, and then once all that is done and I'm done crying over the, all the element I just wasted, we'll go in there and we'll hatch it up. Three, two, one, and please be something awesome looking. Oh! Busted out that mug. Okay, okay. calm down little guy. Oh, you, do you have mutations? Uh, I don't even know if it takes bold meat or regular meat or what. I have no clue. I'm pretty sure it's regular meat. Follow me. I mean, it doesn't, I don't even know why I'm messing with it. Oh my God. Please never try to walk again. I don't even know. I guess it did eat that. Or did I, I don't even know. It doesn't matter, right? I'm just gonna put some spoiled meat on, on this side. Oh, there's spoiled meat on her. Okay, look, I don't even know. I've never raised a freaking, ow. Oh! All right, it's been forever since I've raised one anyways. <laughs> He's kind of cute. Wait, are you a he? She's kind of cute. Blue on the end of the feathers. Not too shabby. Let's see what them stats look like, though. Um, How on earth 
Did you end up with lower melee than either one of your parents? You got the decent health and I mutated you. Like, what the crap, man? It's going to take some stuff. That's going to take some time. But luckily, I mean, breeding these things up is like no big deal. And so I'm going to have to try and breed. Actually, I'm not even going to get that into it. I'm going to breed a couple of decent ones. And then we're going to compare them to the Dimorphodons. If you guys think we should, I'm going to compare them to the Onic as well. And then we'll start a breeding program to take into Ascension with us. But anyways, guys, that's probably where I'm going to leave this one. Oh, this is embarrassing. Let me cut uh, in my skivvies. That's where we're going to leave this one. If you ended up enjoying this episode, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. It does help me out a lot. Leave me a comment. And let me know if you think that I should pursue the Onic or not with that new uh, mutator settings. And until we meet again, make sure I don't pull, punch my baby. Avian. <laughs> Stupid thing. Look at him trying to walk. <laughs>